All right, so if you're wondering what that bag of goodies is, uh, something just happened, you know, this morning. And I had to look through, you know, your little laundry room. And this bag is here, and I forgot. And I saw this box. Yeah, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. How many is in there? I don't know how many. Is. 50. Yeah, I, I had it is I had it since like 17, I think. 2017. Alright, see you see that it, it's cause I got this from the nurse, right? Because the procedures I was training with a particular one nurse, you know, that's what she does, that's what they do. But uh the doctor took me off because uh you know, things got better. My numbers went down or whatever the fuck, you know. And uh, so now I don't have to do that. I was supposed to be doing these procedures like maybe three times a day, literally like for the rest of my life. So you, this this is just the initial shipment. She sent home with me, but uh, it was going to be shipped. More of it was going to be shipped to me, you know. But this has nothing to do with this COVID scam. This is just a little sponges. I mean, uh, you know, bandages. And a, you know the tape but the hand sanitizer you know like i said not because of some germ no it it was a virus it, it was because period you know like i said the reason surgeons wear these masks nothing he can be perfectly health no cold no nothing but you just don't want when they cut you open you don't, that's what the mask is for, because anything inside of your body, inside, is going to give you a, a bad infection. So that's why, you know, they, they, you know, in the movies, you see them scrub up and, you know, like they do in real life and put on gloves and they don't touch the gloves and, you know, everything. That's what I was training to do because I was going to have to do this every day. And if I fuck up, that's why see, they would, you know, anybody who's on this program, uh, that's what they train you for. And she was explaining how she had guys or women who fucked up. And it doesn't even matter if it took like just one second. You just touch one second. She said, you just have to call me, you know, anytime. Like say this is 17 and I didn't heal up and I was still on it. Like to this day, if I fucked around and, you know, I ain't talking about out here. It's just on the in, in your house. No matter how well you clean it. It's, yeah, it's, it's everything. She was going to come here. They came here. But... That was the initial inspection, but they were going to show me how to clean everything and this and that. You know, just like this whole bullshit, this weird shit. You know, now that it, uh, the riot's over again, they're, uh, you know, they're, they're you know, uh, so-and-so at a club, you know, a performer. Deal, yeah, deal, hoogly fake ass, you know, fainting and shit. Oh, I'm, I'm tested for COVID, but I wasn't, I fainted from dehydration. But, you know, the club has to close down and learn and clean, re-clean. You know, all this fucking show bullshit. But, uh, it, like I said, it, it, I don't know. Is this, it, like I said, there's no such thing as coincidence. So... I don't know what this happened. You know, remember, there was a run on hand sanitizer. I had, I had a bunch of these. I still got another full one, you know, because I didn't have to. I got taken off. But this, I got this free years ago. The, uh, you know, uh, and I got, like, one more. I gave one that was half full to somebody else during the beginning of the uh, scam a couple of months ago, you know. Yeah, because, uh. You know, the hand sanitizer was selling out and all this bullshit in the mask. I was like, damn, I forget. You know, I could have sold these on eBay or something. You know, when they was ganking people, I could have sold these for, I don't know, $20 a box. She's like, that's not much. Yeah, but uh, it was free. I got it free. <laughs> it's 100% profit. I don't need them. And uh, that's what I'm saying. It has nothing to do with stopping a virus. It, 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 that's how I know what I'm talking about. Not because... I read this and read it, it, no, because, and like I said, she, uh, so even if it's just you drop something for a second while you're open, she said, call her. That, that's, what they, that's what it took, like a month. That's why it took so long that I was in this training. I would go twice a week, you know, 
And uh, as they were doing it, they were doing blood tests and monitoring me. And uh, I got better. You know, I still go see, you know, those type of doctors. But it's just to make sure, you know, things don't, you know, go back south. And uh, who knows, uh, you know, maybe I had to get on the transplant list or something, you know. But this was a step they took to keep me from having to be waiting for a transplant because my numbers kept getting better. And then by the end of the month, while I'm in this training twice a week, you know, they did another blood test and, oh, okay, yeah, take you off of it. You know, shit, shit, oh, okay, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, they, they surprised too, oh, shit, you know, but, uh, I remember the doctor one time, she was, see, literally, like, how you hype yourself up, like, if you're an athlete, when you talk to yourself, yeah, we gotta do this, and this motherfucker said, I gotta be brave, and I'm sitting there next to him, like, what are you talking, why would you say that to yourself, no, because that, no, it's not, oh, she's crazy, she's talking to herself. No, like I said, she's hyping herself up. I'm like, why you got to hype yourself up? <laughs> you know, what? Not why are you talking to yourself. Why are you hyping yourself up? Like something's going to go wrong if you do what you're thinking. You see what I'm saying? Like, like maybe she's worried about a lawsuit or something. I got to be, you know, like she's going to take a chance. But I'm like, yeah, shit, fuck it. You know, I'm ex-military. Go ahead, take that chance. And she did. I ain't say it like that, but I'm like, you know what, I could take it. You know, if I end up banging you because it's something you prescribe, a little too strong, don't worry about it. But, uh, shit, it's like, why are you trying to hype yourself up like you you finna go down a ramp, a BMX ramp, and jump a big-ass jump, you know, a 20-foot jump, <laughs> you know. You got got to be brave. Got to do this, you know, for the crowd. The crowd is here already. You know, like no. Why would you say that out loud in front of me? What do you? Just do it. You know. But, uh, yeah. So all everything they were, they, I got. I only got two boxes. Like I said, that was the initial shipment that they sent me home with, and uh, it was supposed to. That was the yeah to keep me tied me over until the. Uh, big box come you know i guess i would get every quarter or something big old shipment of stuff it was going to be like a really like an old man in there it would be literally old. uh my my living room would have been like you know my bathroom like a hospital you know you know well when you know, your granddad your, your old granddad you know probably would have started smelling like it but um uh, I would have been able to still move, you know, go about, have a job. I guess I would have, you know, fit part-time. But, uh, you know. So, but like I said, yeah, it is, I don't know who I have, why, why, what, what happened to me is so, or maybe, I don't know. Like I said, they're mocking me nationwide and making y'all go through this. I had no clue, you know. This was two years ago. I was right here. I had just moved in here, man. As a matter of fact, I was only in here. I, matter of fact, the, I moved in. Me and this one dude, we moved my furniture. I had just got back from the Virgin Islands and because of the hurricane. And, you know, I got me a new apartment. But uh, got my stuff out of storage and got sick. Well, I was already sick when I left the Virgin Islands. But I didn't know it was the same thing because this happened to me before. But, uh, so I stayed here two days. I was only here two days. You know, I couldn't do anything. I was just basically laid out for two days. I can't, I didn't go nowhere. I didn't eat. So, you know, finally I called somebody. I said, look, you know what? Yeah, I got to tap out. Just go to the emergency room. And as usual, I knew it. Yeah, I get a room immediately, you know, regular house, but wasn't in the VA. Cause they don't even have a VA hospital here. All they have is clinics. Not in this city, but uh, my old city they got a VA. You know, it depends on what city you live in. But uh, by then, Trump had made a law that we can go to regular hospitals. So for people who don't live, for veterans who don't live by a hospital, a VA hospital. But. Uh, so, yeah, immediately they give me a room and I ended up staying there 30 days. You know, I'm trying to get, why can't I, well, we got to sit, you know, your numbers. You know, I know you're feeling, da 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 da, da. But, so, yeah, I just noticed this this morning because I was looking for uh, light bulbs. And I, I saw this. 
it is a procedure mask. See those it's called procedure mask, not virus protection mask. You know, because like I said, it's not because it protects you from viruses and sneezes. It protects your insides when you're cut open. That's what they, it is not me, oh, know it all. No, this is experience because I was sick and that's why I had to learn this. Because like I said, she would, every time I did, because I would have had to do it at the minimum three times. I might have been, it depends on how my body function had to do this procedure. You know, but uh, every single day. But, uh, and she said, if something, while you're open, even for a second, just one second, it touches your couch, anything, your skin, this and that. You know, you got to keep the, the little piece, you know, just holding it while you got it open. You ain't got to be that scary. Just just make sure you you don't touch the tip and you just hold it, you know, until you put the cover back. Because really it only would, should be exposed for uh, maybe three seconds unless you're just that slow and old. But, but you know, sometimes, oops, you drop it. Call they says no matter what just call them immediately, and uh, they got to because you gonna have to go in surgery. They gotta replace it. It's quick surgery, you know. They got called the surgeon and and because she explained some people did it and didn't call. And next thing you know, like I said, it might have been a quick drop. You pick it up. You like, oh shit, butterfinger, pick it up. Think it's okay. So that's what they drilling in. It's not okay. Your body is your literally your body the inside of your body is open any and so it's not about somebody sneezing it, you could you in there all alone you, there's nobody in your house is super clean it doesn't matter your body is open just like you're in the surgery they cut you open that's what those masks are for not because it it uh you know, it protects from viruses. It, it, none of that shit is bullshit. You're stupid. And it's not me just going off of something I learned on the internet recently because of COVID. And actually, I forgot about it till just now. Literally, if I wouldn't have went in there to look for lights in my uh, laundry room, light bulbs, I, I wouldn't have remembered this was there. I'm like, wait a minute. I got this. So that means I got 100 right now. And that was just the initial. That's why it's in this airfare bag. Because, you know, that's what she had laying around at her office. She put all the supplies in there. Here, here you go. And uh, the shipment ought to be there in about a week. This will, this will get you going. Or the last year a week. Until the boxes come. To your house. With all the stuff. You know, actually the places around the corner. I had just bought that Mustang. It's, it's like five minutes from here. When I first moved here. So, yeah. I had, uh got this apartment and i was uh stayed you know i stayed i was in the hospital i only had i moved in and two days later i'm in the hospital spent 30 matter of fact I, uh it was january i guess uh 2018 is when i got out in the hospital and started doing the classes so no this is not something you know you're not an expert da, 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 da. You're doc, dr fauci the cdc says that da, da, da. nope nope because millions of people, you can look it up on YouTube if I tell you what the procedure is. But, uh, cause matter of fact, I had to come home and watch YouTube videos of, you know, this old lady. She's, a, I guess, she's not an actress. She actually has it, you know, doing the procedures I would be having to do. So, no, this is not not, this is not, oh, you think you, yeah, you all you Antifa and BLM, all of a sudden, you know, y'all posting on your Instagrams and now that the riot's over now as you're attacking trump oh see he we're gonna die and y'all don't want to wear a mask and uh, da, 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 da. no bitch the mask has nothing to do with a fucking virus unless your ass is open laying open your stomach is cut open your leg your arm you that mask ain't gonna help shit that mask is to help you keep you from getting in infe serious infection while your body is open Stupid ass bitch. <laughs> so damn stupid. And thought people were gonna fall for it. We're not falling for it, okay? I don't give a fuck. Governor, whoever the fuck you I guess all y'all instead of just saying you're tired of being governor and you wanna retire, you wanna make it seem like you lost because of crazy Trump 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 people voted you out. So you wanna go out with a bang out and blame it on something else. Not the fact that you just shit, I'm tired of this shit. I don't even wanna be governor. <laughs> but you you don't even wanna step down, but you wanna make it look like you lost because a bunch of uh 
people who wouldn't listen, who didn't believe, who conspiracy theorists. But like again, everything I already needed to know the knowledge that y'all are lying happened to me two years ago because I got a serious procedure. I, I would have to have done every, even this day. It's, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I would have had to wake up and do this every single day for the rest of my life. But I got better. You know, I, st I still might have to. I don't know if I'm not careful. You know, if you, you get, what do you call it, relapse or something. But, uh, you know, so I still, I just go to my appointments when it's time, you know. That's why I went back to work when I started feeling better. Let me go back to work so I can, you know, that's why I started. I knew this, these places, they, you know, it keeps you very physical. Especially like now, it's hot. Shit, it's like being in a sauna, working out. Especially, you know, so I'm like, shit, this got to be good for me, you know. That's why, I, that's another reason I went back to work. And, and plus, the money was better. You know, now instead of six, seven, eight dollars, it's eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and I'm like, all that is just extra money, you know. So I can work if I feel like forty, sixty hours, or ten, twelve, or twenty a week, whatever, whichever is my choosing. But uh, yeah, that's how. I, not from oh, I read a book. No, that, that's the reason. The reason was not just so you learn the procedure. But so you won't get cocky no matter what, no matter how long, many years you've been doing it. The one time you drop that thing for at least one sec, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you, you know, you know, it ain't like with food. Oh, a 10 second rule or five. Seconds. There's no five. It doesn't matter how fast you pick it up. Call immediately and you got to get that thing taken out and a new one put in because your body, that's the inside of your body. If Every time you got the cap off. It only should take you, you only should have it off twice during the procedure. Once, they put it on and then the, uh, disconnect. So each time that cap should, so for, should only take you one second. You know, you take the cap off, then connect it. Then you're done, take it off, put the cap back on, you're back good. So that one second, that, but that's the point. It doesn't matter. You fuck up and drop it. Ooh, whatever the reason. And like I said, it, it might not even be nobody in the house. You know, no kids, no other adults, no nothing. It doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with protecting you from a fucking virus. It protects you, your inside, your organs, all of that. It could be whenever. You know, it could be in your leg, you know, whatever. You, you cut open and they're doing surgery on your muscles. Not even your organs. Just the inside is going to get infected because your body is open. And if you do nothing about it, you know, well, people get stabbed. That's why you go to the hospital. If, even if it's just a stab, that's why you put infection on it, cover it up. Or you get antibiotics or whatever. Norris can kneel or some shit. Yeah, I got some of that. It should be in here. I got, you know, you got all that shit. The, the little white cream and shit. I got some of that. Every, you know, to put around the wound. But, uh, if you, the point is, if you don't do any, just turn, put the cap back on and you done dropped it. Oh, you in for big trouble. <laughs> you know, oh, this is, she's explaining this. You got guys or uh, women who didn't listen and, and they know immediately what happened once you come in, you know, all fucked up and the wound is all festering. You know, nope, you dropped it. Why didn't you call? You know, they don't have no good explanation. They just didn't call. But yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I literally forgot about that. I'm up. I'm literally up here arguing with y'all. You know, that's the thing. Y'all bully us to even now, even now you don't want to say much. Because they try to, oh, see, you stupid. And, and, and even though we're bringing up the fact that they were out there rioting two weeks ago, you know, and now they're trying to go back to lockdown, and, but they was all supporting the, oh, it's, certain things are more important, you know, than going to, so it's more important to tear up, riot, and loot, and burn shit down than it is to go to work and earn some money. Uh, okay, yeah, I see your logic. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> you all so damn stupid.